Hi everyone. First of all, let me clarify the purpose of this channel. Here we building robots for future. I also have some side projects like for example building electric skateboard. But the main subject is stays robotics. Uh, in uh, recently I built uh, several robotic arms like for example 2 degrees of freedom, 3 degrees of freedom and the last one was 6 degrees of freedom. The video about it you can check over here. And now I'm developing 7 degrees of freedom human size like robotic arm. And for this robotic arm I would use brushless motors as they would increase the power and speed of it. If you would like to support my channel please subscribe to it and we have a new video each week. We would like to build a robotic arm. The main component of robotic arm is actuator. And actuator I mean it's reducer or gearbox plus motor. So something which can move our arm. And uh, in order to test if the, our actuator is good or bad, we need to test the speed of the actuator, the precision of the actuator and the power of the actuator or torque of the actuator. And uh, to make this uh, test uh, simple and interesting, I decided to use high five test. It means that our actuator and our robotic arm should be able to make high five. In today's video, we're gonna do the high five test with this standard industrial actuator. This is a planetary actuator with a gear ratio 32. This is the actuator from the, my last video. And in the next videos, we will uh, build other actuators and also test them on the high five test. And like this, we will choose which one is the best in terms of the simplicity, precision and cost. This is hardware from our last video. So brushless motor, reducer, Arduino or drive controller and uh, power supply. I also printed the support for the reducer. This is aluminum profiles uh, to support the support of the reducer. This is plate in which I drilled the holes which match to the holes of the reducer. And some bolts and nuts. First of all, let's put aside and reorganize electronics. Now let's assemble these parts. Assemble. Next, to connect the motor to the gearbox. Now, aluminum profile support. Now let's fix motor on the support. Let's turn it around. Also let's put the wires on the other side. Now let's fix this part. Let's test the drivability. significant uh, backlash. For example, now motor does not move, but it, the arm is moves. 
I fix the motor on the side of the table like this. It can rotate a little bit more than when it's in the middle. And uh, also, this is electronics which I rearrange. So now it's on the same one on one plate. There is everything like two power supplies, power supply for O drive, power supply for Arduino, Arduino Duo itself, and uh, O drive. Now let's make uh, just a simple test to see how it moves uh, and to see backlash and power. I use the same program as the last time. I just change the current, put 15 amps, edit some delays and commented uh, the fast move part. So first of all, it should be calibration sequence. This is start of it. And now it's in closed mode uh, loop and we can see if there is backlash and there is backlash. Quite significant one, I would say that it's around 4 to 5 millimeters on the top of this arm. This is how it moves. It's strong. I can outforce it, but it's quite strong. So now it's again uh, in the middle position. And super hard to move it. Nice. For the high five test, we need to implement the feedback. So arm goes like this and when there is something on its way, it should stop. So how we're gonna do this? We're gonna check the current on the motor. So we will see with Arduino when the current on the motor goes higher than the certain threshold and when it's higher, we stop the, we stop this arm. Let's program this. The program name is Odrive High 5 Test. Uh, the beginning of the program is the same as in the previous one. The speed is increased to 130,000 counts per second. The current is 15 amps. This is initialization. The move back and forth. And this is the, the main move. Uh, I'm not sure about parameters in this main move, but they do work. This is a loop in which it checks uh, that current is not uh, high yet. And uh, so here it checks the current. And if uh, current is uh, higher than 5 uh, amps, um, or drive goes to the idle state uh, and uh, it uh, exits uh, this loop. Afterwards, I have a part which is commented. This is another way to do the same stuff, and this way it does not work very well. And so afterwards, uh, our drive goes to the normal closed loop control, and it goes to the back. And that's it. So I uploaded the program on the Arduino. Now let's switch it on and test. Uh, down. Oh, nice. And there is nothing. And it goes back. And if there is something on the way. Cool. I also 3D printed a plastic hand. This is actually my hand. You see. So we can fix it over here. Like this is gonna be real high five. And another high five test. Nothing on its way. Cool. <laughs> nice.
high five. High five. High five. I can do this forever. High five. This was the high five test of the industrial planetary gearbox. Uh, this test shows that gearbox is not very precise because it has a significant backlash. It's quite powerful. And uh, with the brushless uh, motor and odrive controller, it could be fast enough to make high five. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video and put your comments down below. See you next time.